Been waiting on this one for forever now. Welcome to Jamaica's South Coast, off the beaten track where you can zoom through the trees over cascading waterfalls, where your friends make fun of My your name TikTok is Kay, slogan. And I live where you love to be. And where occasionally you get stuck up on a zip line. What? What's but there's no question about whether or not you should yeah. visit here. Yeah, right. <laughs> I want you to experience some of the most natural water attractions you can find on the island. So, I'm taking you to Treasure Beach, a community of spectacular sunset views, pristine waters, and only in Jamaica, you can cruise over it to bars in the middle of the ocean. because I'm here with my girls. Right now we're at Wyatt Falls, the beautiful Wyatt Falls in St. Elizabeth. After which we're gonna go to a villa that we booked here called 77 West. And tomorrow we got a nice day planned out. So hope you stick around. In the meanwhile, make sure you like this video, share and subscribe. Happy birthday! Alrighty guys, it's a Sunday and we at YS Falls. Entry is 1500 Jamaican dollars per person. But that's if you're a local, otherwise it's 20 US dollars. And kids fees 1000 Jamaican or 12 US. Guys, we are now on the This is one of the things that stood out for me from the get-go. Cruising on a three minute ride from the entrance up to the waterfalls with scenic views from an open shuttle. They got a gift shop and a restaurant. But if you know me and my friends from my other girls trip videos, we're gonna take our own food. So now eat before we go in our water or water before? I just take a little bite and then go in. <laughs> What's in here? As Jamaican as it gets, this is a must for us, but there's just no group trip without the famous corned beef sandwiches or tuna sandwiches. And we brought our own snacks and fruits. And of course, my aunt's famous banana bread. Get ready, girl. Get here, guys. <laughs> Period. And big shout out to my friends in this video and for always putting up with me. We need some swimsuit pictures. I'm going to do some close-ups of you and then I'm going to change right now. And you go put your swimsuit on? Because you need to take bath suit pictures. Remember, we're doing the TikToks in the swimsuit. Yes. I know we're going to do the TikTok. Yes. Okay, we're going to do the TikTok. Yes. 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 Yes.
They don't want it to drape and reveal anything. And I also like that we get rubber gloves to wear underneath the heavy duty ones for COVID protection. Guys, if I don't make it. Yeah. So if the first low key excited. Well, I'm not low key, I'm high key excited. I'm kind of afraid of heights when I'm ready. Sometimes I'm afraid, but when the rush comes on, I'll be good. Hello. Hi. First time going on this? Yes, you? No, I've been on it before. Hi, Blah. Oh, where are you? Tony. Tony looks scared. Guys, this is literally like a steep wooden staircase. And I'm tired. And it's so high up. How far up are we? 20 feet? Is that far? <laughs> Oh, look. <sighs> Guys, we're far up. Look. I know. Of course it's high. I think I changed my mind. Should I do this? Friend, should I do this? Is it worth it? Tell me that again. Sit. Sit. Yeah, sit. Sit. Then boat knees. Then boat knees. Lean, lean back like this. Yeah. I can do this. God, I got this. Okay, I'm ready. And yeah. they're gonna, they're gonna catch me, right? Yeah. And I'm good now. Yeah. All ready? Right. I think so. Legs up. Legs up. So the first line was pretty short and smooth, but it got us ready for the following ones. I'm good. Okay, I landed. I landed. It was fun. I was scared. This is not so bad. Guys, this next one is the longest and the coolest one. A few minutes later They did that on purpose, but I wasn't even scared Wow, that was cool Leaving now, the zip line was bomb Pretty Look over there Hey. Apart from the river, you can actually go in the pool and people are around Just swimming around in the little areas I personally just didn't want to go into the pool Guys, the bus is back don't leave me! Alright, we are now on our way to our beautiful little Airbnb cottage. Okay, so a GPS that Christina just put in to 77 West from Wise Falls says 1 hour and 27 minutes, but Monique's GPS says 55 minutes. We're gonna follow Monique because you know that's quicker. So let's hope we're going to the right place. Who else won? <laughs> so, guys, we just got some shrimp by Middle Quarters, and as you can see, the ladies are the vendors there. They're very persistent, but they sell some good shrimp. Make sure you check it out. Good little, you know, stop on the road and get a little, a quick snack while you're driving. A piece of advice for you if you're taking this route. Make sure you got some big wheels. Look, look, look on the road, this size of the road. From where it's supposed to 7, 7 minutes. Take the longer route. Take the 1 hour and 27 minutes route. Don't take the 55 minutes route from GPS. And the road is terrible. It's not even a road. Finally, welcome to 7, 7 West. This is what we got going on here. No posh and luxury escalator to bring us up but this is treasure beach for you real rustic community tourism Girl, oh, we can pull now Woo. i should have the bigger one yeah me. yes i mean come here Tali. already like it's really cool really pretty it's like you're in a different world just like a country country vibe So 77 West is one of the many unique villas located within the beautiful community of Treasure Beach. There is only a total of five small but very cozy cottages on property, most of which have incredible oceanfront views. 
something I've always loved about Treasure Beach and one of the things I was looking for on our stay here was somewhere that's peaceful and private. 77 West was nothing less of that. Come let me show you what inside looks like. Alright guys, this is our cottage here. It's just a nice bed. We have three cottages there. I opened the windows. I really like how they're mesh because even though it got this rustic vibe and you, you for those who are afraid of insects, there it's mesh so you're all good. We got the girls chilling out here. Everybody's a bit tired. It's been a long day. It's a nice room. I really like it. There's a little closet right here. If you can see it. And there's a safe. Ooh. And then we have the bathroom just back here in its own little area, perfectly behind everything. It's love. This is one of the most perfect places I can think of to have a stunning sunset view. Treasure Beach, amazing. I can't help but love it here. Bring it to the old land. Bring it to the old land. One thing I was disappointed with is that the restaurant and property closed early this day. Luckily, the Lashings Hotel close by delivers. Not the best pizza I've had, but everybody else was satisfied. Each meal ranged from about 10 to 15 US. <laughs> Guys, this really has been the best birthday gift. Thank you to my amazing friends and thanks to all of you for your support on this channel. Good morning. It's Monday and we are out here. Guys, last night was really, last night was fun. I'm going to go down to the beach actually and talk to you and tell you what I'm going Oh, we got breakfast here. Courtesy of Kotia, big up to Kotia for the banana bread, yes. Guys, come eat the melon before the sun. Make it spoil. There's no fridge here. Well, there's a bar downstairs. Woo! This is so pretty. There's a staircase that takes you from the pool down to the beach. Last night when we were sleeping, you could hear the waves crashing. It was so relaxing, it was so peaceful. Different. <laughs> Can you see money? So one of the things about Treasure Beach and what I find really interesting is that because it's a really rustic, calm, laid back and untouched type of vibe. I, I've been here twice. It's like an area for community tourism. So you're going to find that it's very calm. It's not very crowded. Even like Wyatt Falls where we went yesterday, they have a limited capacity that they can hold at any one time. They're not open on public holidays. They're not open on Mondays and they do that to reduce the amount of people and the amount of activity that is happening because there is ecotourism that's promoted here in Treasure Beach. Fred Lizard, you know? Fred Lizard, but I've been wanting to come to Treasure Beach for a long time and I'm just happy about it. I did. I did know. She's supposed to be eating fruit. She doesn't, guys, she don't drink water, you know, this girl right here. Not tell the people I'm yeah. not. She don't drink water. So Pelican Bar, we are going to head to Party and Party is closer to Pelican Bar and we're going to get picked up there and then they're going to bring us on the boat over to the bar. There are different options. We could have chosen the option to just be picked up from here. However, it's cheaper from Party. So it's like generally like 30 US dollars or 3000 US dollars per person. However, if you go to Party and get picked up there, you're gonna spend between a thousand Jamaican dollars to fifteen hundred Jamaican dollars or ten US dollars um, because it's a shorter distance from Party to Pelican Bar. So it's really up to you because if you want a longer ride 
and get a longer view from here, which is nice, of course. It's up to what your budget can afford and what you want to do. Okay, go in the boat. You ready? Guys, we are here and we're now going on the boat to Pelican Bar. Our boat is operated by Pelican Bar, but you can just pull up at Parati Bay and hop on any one of the locally operated boats here. They're usually lined up along the bay. One question, are you ready? One mile off the coast, welcome to Floyd's Pelican Bar, the coolest bar in the world. Thank you. Yeah, welcome Put again. Put it on my food. I have to keep on your mask. And when you drink, you drink this next to a time. You keep can it on your mask. You can order your food from there. One of the things I love most about Pelican Bar is that it's a local family-owned business. Floyd is a fisherman who built it in 2001. One of the first things they make you do is order an entry and leave the cars at home as it's cash only. Built on a sandbar and made from scrap wood, it's now become one of the best beach bars in the world. Bathroom though. Oh, that's huge. Someone little catch him. Ah. People, this bar is lit. There's a gift shop right here. If you want to shop, if you want to get some souvenirs, look, they got stuff in here. You can take your photo shoot. This is amazing. This is really pretty. This is the highlight of the trip. <laughs> Food is here. I am so in love with the food here. It was beyond good. We had shrimp, Pepper. fish, and lobster. Meal start at 2,000 Jamaican dollars. Yeah, big up K Moody. Subscribe to K Moody channel. Yeah. And make sure to visit Pelican Bar. Yeah, man. Um, Instagram also, official Pelican Bar. Bam. <laughs> Because Floyd's Pelican Bar is a sandbar, the surrounding water is shallow. Some of us were still too short to touch ground, but it's the dangling feet for me. We did it, I couldn't be any happier with our visit to Pelican Bar. Such an unforgettable trip with amazing friends, making memories that'll last a lifetime. This is one of the reasons why I love creating these videos. This is what it's all about. Guys, this trip, this was fun. This was nothing short of amazing. It was everything. Wow. I will be back to Pelican Bar. It did not disappoint and I'm happy I came. Alrighty, we're going to end the video here. If you're still here, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn that notification bell on for my next video. See you again. Everybody say bye. Bye. Bye.